Hi, and welcome back to Chuck Testa's... <laughs> That's funny. Two Long Lost Tuesday Tips. I'm only laughing because I was working with this comedian, Tom, and he says, Oh, my son calls you by your whole name. So then I went and called myself by my whole name. <laughs> Anyhow, um, today's tip. Um, I was getting ready to sculpt a new mannequin for a fox, but the, the I had to save the skull for the customers. And usually you need the whole skeleton to make a mannequin. So I had to make a mold of the fox head so I can pour it and have a foam fox head with the skeleton. And it got me to thinking on some of these small projects that I do. Where like I carve the head, this is going to be a hedgehog. And I, and I go, wow, you know what? Maybe I should show how to make a little, a quick mold so you could uh, make a mold of a head and pour styrofoam in it. So this is a baby possum I got to do for the museum. Uh, I'm going to wrap a body and all that, but I'm going to make a mold of the head just for fun. And the most important safety tip on making a mold, and you never want to forget to do this or else you can't get the head out. Not that I did that on this fox. Is spray a, a releasing agent of some type on your skull. We're just going to make a Bondo mold. And it's kind of a two-piece thing and uh, I'm just gonna mix up a little Bondo here like I always do and make a mess like I like to do and you do it in two parts you mix up your Bondo today it's like 80 degrees in here or 90 so we'll mix it racing orange so we got this Steve McQueen thing going on on our other deal. So we want to do everything fast. Mix up a little Bondo. And then you just, you just float it on the head like this. Let it dribble over the sides. And then when it turns, uh, starts getting rubbery and kicks like Bondo does, we'll clean up an edge on it and flip it over and then spray a little more release agent on the edge of the Bondo. And make a two-piece mold like that and then what you'll do after that is you can drill a hole in the back of this and pour two-piece foam or if you have fast cast like we made the monkey head my self-portrait out of you can use fast cast and then just drill out your eyes to set your eyes in there and uh, or if you ever want to make a reference cast like my death mass up here that's the same thing because if we poured this mold of this fox it's going to have the eyes and everything in it just not the skin on it and you have all your detail there all your muscles all the muscle structure and everything that you can use for reference but like I said in this case we're going to use it to um, make a foam head to put on a skeleton to make a mannequin because this hat fox happens to be a bat eared fox from Africa for a zoo and it's only about two and a half pounds full grown it's really small so we need a mannequin for that anyway this should start tacking up here sometime well Tom <laughs> At least I didn't say, well, Bob. <laughs> so, where are you playing tonight? The Harbor? Yeah, the Ventura Harbor Comedy Club. And you're the host, the MC? I will host tonight, filling in because of an emergency. So, you're not, are you going to do a set, or do you do a set when you're Oh, host? yeah. I'll be MCing, so I'll do a set. And uh, what's your set? Can you do a couple jokes for the studio audience? Well... A rabbi... 
really hard to just come up with a joke. A rabbi and a Catholic and a Muslim go into the bar. Mm-hmm. So you want well, me I'm to... not the comedian. Oh. I don't know. Is that what is that oh, a real just joke? Give me a scenario. And you want me to write the joke? <laughs> no, I don't know. What kind of jokes do you tell? Sport jokes? No, I just do jokes about my kids and my family and. What's yes. the joke that you have, kids? Yeah, so oh. the joke is that a woman let me procreate with her. <laughs> I love the smell of Bondo. I miss yeah. that. Yeah. yeah, I need to buy some Bondo. Not, really? I use it all the time. I don't even smell it anymore. Now, see how this is getting tacky right here? So then, while it's rubbery, is when we have to clean it up. Because you know what happens to Bondo if you go too long, you'll never get it cut. I love everything I always do is so precision. Okay, so see how we have, ooh, well it's not going to be, there we go. So we have half, and then Again, like I said, we'll spray a little more release agent on it. And we'll mix up some more Bondo and make our bottom half. What do you use Bondo on the fighter planes that we sold to Turkey? Yeah. <laughs> You can't put Bondo on an airplane. We did it on uh, static displays, the display aircraft that you see sitting around Air, um, oh, Air, Air Force. Um, yeah. Oh, the ones that, like, like that are, you put on the little things that look like they're flying. Yeah, yeah. But they're not. Yeah, we would we Bondo those instead of doing actual corrosion control, which involves grinding the corrosion out and then, uh, you know, sheet metal or um, fiberglass. We use a lot of fiberglass. Yeah. That's good at fiberglass. Good. It's kind of I, fun. Use, I use fiberglass a lot in here too. Oh yeah, I can imagine that. Yeah. So today on Chuck's Tuesday Tips, besides learning how to do a, a head of a skull head, we learned how to uh, fiberglass or not Bondo airplane wings. <laughs> and we get to see some really bad camera work too, I'm guessing. <laughs> well good, that, my, my studio audience, what's left of it, expects nothing but the worst. So <laughs> don't worry, you know. So again, you just slurry it over here, and uh, for whatever reason, the camera keeps releasing, trying to raise up. That's I okay. It, all right. So now we're just gonna let this kick and repeat just how I cut the same thing when it when it when it um, was getting rubbery. And you'll have a two-piece mold, just like this one. And then, like I said, I'm not going to do it on this episode, but you could just drill your head. I mean, you spray your mold release in here, rubber band your mold, you have a hole here. You just mix up either your two-part cast, two-part foam, pour it in, bam. You got a head just like uh, any other mannequin. So thanks for tuning in to Chuck's Tuesday Tips. We'll see you next week, and don't forget if you're in the Ventura area tonight to go watch Tom's show. Except for by the time this is up, it won't be tonight anymore. It'll be some other night. We'll see you next time. <laughs>